Wedding season is upon us, and for the first time in over a year, it might even look normal. But for those who want to eat, drink, and be married, the easing of COVID-19 restrictions brings a new wave of anxiety. Amanda Osicki has rescheduled her wedding three times since the pandemic began, and she's considering doing it again. Her wedding date is in mid-June, which means she can't serve food or drinks. But days after her wedding, the province is expected to ease restrictions, allowing for food at receptions. Osiki says it's unfair people will be able to dine at restaurants, but her 30 guests can't get served. You have your restaurants opening. You have six people per table. I have a caterer booked. Um, they have the capability of serving everybody individually. Wedding receptions are currently limited to 30 guests only and food remains banned. But by mid-June, the plan moves to step two, meaning up to 150 people can attend weddings and yes, food and drinks can get served. Step three will come toward the end of July with most restrictions lifted by then. Brides and grooms have spent a year navigating through the unknowns, and the reopen plan brings excitement. I am super excited about the reopen plan. Um, seems like the finish line is in sight. However, not all wedding bells are ringing just yet. The return of wedding season means couples are competing for venues and services such as catering and hair and makeup. Venues are obviously booking up really fast because there were so many people that bumped from 2020 to 2021, and now there is still people bumping from 2021 to 2022. Some bride and grooms are meeting the challenge by keeping their weddings small, despite the easing of restrictions. People are really embracing the, the COVID wedding and the small gatherings and say that it's a much more intimate feel and they don't mind the idea of a small wedding. The pandemic could have a long lasting impact on wedding culture. Stewart says people have learned to embrace small nuptials which could stick around for years to come. Mickey Judich, CBC News, Regina.